Hi, in this quick video I'm going to show you how to turn on and access quiz logs in Canvas for online quizzing. Now, um, this is another tool in your toolbox for uh, testing, security, especially as we look forward to final exams. Uh, it's not a panacea, but it's, a, it's another great tool. And uh, I'm going to show you how to use it and give some suggestions on how you might deploy it for your final exams or any other exams you have coming up. So the first thing I'm going to do is get into a course. So let's get into uh, my great course. And let's go to settings first thing. So once you're in settings in your course, go to feature options. And then down here at the bottom of this list is quiz log auditing. You can go ahead and turn that on. So this is a really important step. You have to turn this on or it won't work. So now that we've turned on quiz log auditing, what we're going to do is let's masquerade as a student and uh, take the quiz and then see what the log shows up. And we'll do this with two different students. So the first thing I'm going to do now, and again, I can do this as an administrator, is I'm going to masquerade as a student. So first, let's masquerade as Hoodie Guy. And these are all make-believe students, so we don't violate any FERPA policies. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Modules. And now, right now, I am Hoodie Guy. So I'm going to click on Modules. And then once I get there, I'm going to go to the quiz for this week, which is my Week 2 quiz. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Take the Quiz. And I'm going, to, I'm going to do this straight through. So I'm the student right now. I'm reading the question one. And I am going to select my answer. And I'm going to stay on the website the whole time. And I will submit. So this is Hoodie Guy's attempt. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log on as a different student. And there's a method to my madness here. So now let's log on as Emmanuel Kant. So now we're Emmanuel Kant. And we're going to go to the same quiz. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be the cheating student. So this is Emmanuel Kant taking the quiz. So I'm reading question one. I'm marking it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cursor off the screen. And I'm going to go to a different website real quick. So let's just go to So I went to the New York Times, and then I came back to Canvas. So now I'm going to answer the second question. And I'm reading the third question, and now I'm going to go to another website. So in this case, I'm going to go to Google. So I'm going to cheat and look up my answer. And then I'm going to go back to my exam. And I'm going to do that one more time. Looking up my answer. Going back to my quiz. So the point is, in the case of this student, Emmanuel Kant, this student went uh, off of the Canvas quiz page while they were taking the quiz, possibly looking up answers. So this log is going to show us the behavior of these two students. So now let's check that out. So I'm going to get out of the student view. And now I'm back in my teacher view. So if I go to the ellipsis on the upper right-hand side of the quiz page, I can go to Show Student Quiz Results. 
Now this is only going to work if you have the quiz log auditing turned on as I showed you in the first step. So now that we're here, we have a list of students who have taken the quiz. So let's look at Hoodie Guy. So now when we click on Hoodie Guy, we have the option to view log in the upper right hand corner. So we're going to click on that. So you can see in this case, uh, Hoodie Guy was the one who took the quiz and stayed on the Canvas quiz page the entire time. So now when we look at this action log, we can see the student started the quiz session at one second in. At 12 seconds, they answered question one and then viewed the following questions and then answered and viewed and answered and viewed. This looks like a student who has stayed on the Canvas quiz site and didn't open uh, any other browser or go to any other tabs outside of Canvas while they were taking the quiz. So that's what that looks like. Now, let's go back and look at the other student, Emmanuel Kant, who was the cheater. So we're just going to go back to the quiz and again click on the ellipsis, quiz results, Emmanuel Kant. Now we're here, we click on view log. So now, in this case, we can see where the student stopped viewing the Canvas page and then came back again. And also, if you look at the very bottom at 1 minute and 40 seconds in, um, this is where the student stopped viewing the, the Canvas page and then came back into it again. So this sort of result will change whether or not a new tab was opened or not. So uh, in, the, in the case of 140, the student went off of the browser totally, went off the tab and came back in. But the point is, if you get one of these messages that says stopped viewing the Canvas quiz taking page or resumed, those are automatic red flags for the student. What it tells you is that um, they looked at another window on their browser or perhaps they could have even um, opened a Word document or, uh, or any kind of document on their computer and then came back into the Canvas quizzing log. So this is how quizzing log works, quiz logs work, and in the next video we'll show you some possible ways that you can use these quiz logs to ensure safety and uh, integrity in your exams.